This is a short film about the BE439 to BE500 series and the Diamond BE600 series burned at uh, half watt transceivers of the 1970s. We start with the BE439 and that is a red button BE439 and if I turn the set round a bit into the light three channels volume control three channel button on the side there and it uses high pocket foam PF1 two 9 volt home office batteries this is a, an actual home office set and hence it has the home office channels embossed upon the back of it there the chargers that were used the later chargers that were used after the PF70 PF1 chargers were removed from the police stations are these BE BC24 719 Mark III battery processor that one says battery processors so you could put your batteries in and you could turn the mechanical timer there and that will start to rotate back upon a motor and would um, trip out to stop overcharge of the um, 90 milliamp hour approximately uh, NICAD batteries and the NICAD batteries which we move over to here to various types and designations made by Varta made by Varta home office stamped the home office approval batteries another Varta stamp battery and uh, one there that says date of the 5th of 1982 which is still giving some good service and that's date the 1st of 83 1983 so those were probably used with the latest series of burned it the six channel high technology the six channel burned it diamond or BE 600 again with the home office uh, designation on the side of it in case it got lost and good citizens would take them to the police station and hand them in having had a good listen on them first maybe taken, pay, taking them to pieces their radio amateurs and looking at the crystals so they could crystal up their new PF1 acquired pocket phones that the home office kindly sold off fully crystalled onto their local channel uh, BE439 became BE uh, 46, uh, 470 that is a BE470 the updated version exactly the same electronics inside uh, crystal sockets there a volume and uh, channel switch at the top speaker housing at the top nice little quarter wave aerial there charging contacts for the mobile HOD there turn it over there's the simple little PCB very nice uh, to work on come down onto 70 sems a tree all the boards wire in so you can take the front end out or the TX end out and change all the boards very quickly within the home office uh, repair environment and uh, that is a BE470 London Fire Brigade bought radios and they required remote radios so that they could hang them on the harness which would also take the um, B470s hung around the, uh, the neck of a person and this is a London Fire Brigade one uh, with its remote um, microphone plugged in there hence there are no push to talk on the front of it uh, it has a much chunkier switch there for the channels so that people with gloves on e.g. firemen could change the channel knob uh, easier than uh, a police uh, than you could with the gloves on of the standard model which is a recessed button there 
The volume control there sticks out well as well for the gloves on the uh, Fire Brigade model. And again, it uses the Varta uh, batteries. Uh, chargers, as I said, are there and there. These are the mobile installations, so that those two um, stubs there would connect aerial and charging into the hod, and that would come out of the hod to aerial here uh, for the vehicle's use, so that you could come along with your BE470, BE439, and be using it. Negative on the can behind, aerial and volume out on the top to the speaker, and you would slot that in like that, and away you go. There is your port transportable in the mobile vehicle adapter, which has its own uh, hand microphone, spoon depth speaker, a few watts of audio, aerial goes into the back of it. Not much to see on the back, but we'll turn it round. There it is, the UHF Mobile Adapter Unit, which is a BE440. Quite a collectible item. I think I've got five in the museum, or six in the museum. There is another burn depth uh, one, with a slightly smarter microphone on it. And if I come into the set, you can see that the set is there. This set has a volume guard switch, uh, volume guard piece of metal on it to stop the switch from being smashed, as uh, many were during the, the service that they uh, were put to. And uh, exactly the same again on the back. Just a, a smarter one that I pulled out of the museum stores to give this little film and set of pictures. There is the um, off mobile operating instructions, installation operating instructions for the unit with a slightly different type of burn depth speaker and the quarter wave aerial that will be on top of the panda car and a slightly different uh, microphone that came out of it. So the London Fire Brigade would have uh, used these uh, direct on 450, 451 megs um, on three or four, three dedicated channels. There is a BE470 uh, version of the same set with the stubby aerial on the top of the microphone. Uh, these were the original burn depth aerials. They went on to these slightly uh, taller burn depth aerials that were slightly more in, in efficient in use. And those are the BE470, BE439, transceivers. You then went on to these um, six channel, luxury, six channels, you'd never want more than six channels on a police radio. Just turn it round like that. There is the uh, volume control and sorry I've got those the wrong way around. There's the volume control, there is the channel control there. Push to talk, squelch defeat and charging contacts just there for going into the burn depth BE600 adapter, which I've only ever seen one example of, and this one has had the microphone cut off it. There is a BE600 sitting in its adapter. Uh, Aerial just sits there nicely. Push to talk from that um, button there if you wanted to use it in the car, and a microphone would have come out like that, of this type of microphone, for uh, in vehicle installation. Turn that round and all that comes out the back is the aerials plug. They would also design to trickle charge the sets whilst in the vehicles. So whilst they're in the vehicles the sets would be trickle charged. The, uh, these are actual home office um, issue BE 439s and there is the channel not channels on there that it was on and uh, the home office designation as I said before and home office designation on that side so uh, the BB600s came in just before the PFX and all the synthesized radios that then took off into the 80s and then Burndep started to well lose out in the market 
uh, as uh, synthesized radios started to make a name for themselves and became much more uh, common than these. Burn dips probably lasted well into the 90s, so if not into slightly less, as vehicle sets, um, emergency sets, back to back, covert operation sets, as did Pi PF1 pocket phones. But uh, much after that, they all became surplus, of which I've got a smidgen in the museum. Not many, but uh, enough to keep me occupied. This is JDPR Dave Hicks in Bewdley, Worcestershire, at the Pine Radio Telephone Museum. <laughs> 